I still think and believe that Psalm 103 is still a part of our blessing. Amen. Forget not all of our benefits. Amen. Who healeth all our diseases and forgiveth all our iniquities. The same blood that washed away our sins is the same blood and crucified body that takes away our diseases. I thank God for the blessing of the Lord. The blessing is so powerful even if you died sick and you died in Christ, you're not sick anymore. Hallelujah. There's no sickness or sorrow in the kingdom of God. That's how powerful the blessing is. Thank God for the blessing of the Lord. I pray that somebody in this house, in this place, get excited about God's blessing actively, continuously, concurrently working in your life today. I believe God for the blessing. I believe God for the blessing. The blessing of the Abraham is on my life. See, the Holy Spirit is the empowerment of that blessing. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit has never come to your life to lead you to a curse. He's called to lead you to be a blessing, to fulfill the allotted life God has portioned out for you, that you may finish your race, run your course, and God has been is given the Spirit and the Word of God to empower you to be blessed in every endeavor of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. God has blessed me in my health. I've never stayed overnight in the hospital. I've only been to urgent care one time in my life as an adult. Hallelujah. I don't have one prescription in my name. Come on, you might as well shout and say amen. Well, you know, amen, I feel like you're being jealous or something. Oh, hallelujah. You should be rejoicing and say, God, I want that too. Oh, I blame it on the blessing. Hallelujah. I said I blame it on the blessing. The Lord taught me the blessing when I was in my 20s. I began to believe and meditate on every promise of God. The way you meditate on television is the way I meditate on the word. It got deep down in my heart, deep down in my spirit. And when the blessing gets deep down on the inside, beyond your conscious mind, down in your subconscious heart, you begin to walk in the blessing and the favor of God. The Bible said if you believe in your heart and confess, Confess with your mouth. See, God starts with the heart. You got to begin to believe the Lagos, the word of God in your heart. Get it down in the secret place. Meditate on it day and night. And as you begin to do that, it will crop up. It will creep up. And you'll begin to walk in what's in your heart. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody say the blessing of the Lord. You can do better than that. Somebody shout the blessing of the Lord. I want you to shout because you're already blessed. I'm blessed in the city. I'm blessed in the field. You know, I thought about that term. Some people think, well, I, I'm blessed because I live in a rural area. Or I'm blessed because I live in the city. Or I'm blessed because I live in the suburbs. Now the Bible said you're blessed everywhere you go. If I live in the city, I'm blessed. If I move to the hillside, I'm blessed. If I move to the mountainside, I'm blessed. Because the blessing is not relegated to geographical location. The blessing is relegated to faith. And where faith is, you please God. Is anybody blessed today? I am blessed by the Lord. Empowered by God to be successful and win in every endeavor of my life, even in my personal affairs. I'm blessed even in my business affairs. If I give it to God and dedicate it to him and follow his ways, I'm blessed in everything that I touch, everything that I walk in. I'm blessed by the power and the grace of God in my life. Yes, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. Hallelujah. Woo! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless, bless, bless. Bless, bless, bless. I've been redeemed from the curse. I've been redeemed from bad luck. Everything good is coming my way. Even when it doesn't look like it. In the unseen realm, God is working it out. He sent angels before me. 
he's working it out. Even when doors are closed, God is opening up a window. He will make a way out of no way because of the blessing of the Lord. Turn to somebody and say, walk in the blessing. Come on, turn to somebody else and say, walk in the blessing. Hallelujah. Yeah. I'm fired up because of the blessing. Hallelujah. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. See, here's my point. The blessing is God's super on your natural. See, most of you only know Christ. Some of you only know Christ in a natural way. Practical and only. But when you deal with Jesus and the resurrected immortal son of God, the chief among many brethren, you're not just dealing with natural. Huh? You're dealing with somebody that stands in super. Huh? So when I work with the blessing, yes, there's some natural. Huh? But God put some super on my natural. Huh? Because of the blessing, I can do above and beyond huh? what I naturally can do. Huh? For the Bible says that all things are possible huh? to those that believe. Hallelujah. I can do all things huh? through Christ Jesus who strengthens me. Huh? Great is he that's in me than he that's in the world. That super added to your natural. The blessing added unto your life. Whatever I put my practical hand to, God's going to put the supernatural blessing with it. I got favor in all the things of my life. For where I go, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He lead me and guide me and to still want us. Why? Because I'm led by the blessing of the Lord. The Bible says, sing a new song. Sing a new song unto the Lord. There's a rhythm in the spirit. Come on, there's a moving of the spirit. Come on, begin to lift your hands all over this place. Begin to lift your hands all over this place. Begin to lift your hands all over this place. Oh, Jesus. The blessing of the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, the blessing. See, some people, you might not have what it takes in the natural at times. But God, the blessing can put some super on your natural. It's called favor. If everybody's honest in this building, every single person, you have not been totally successful without somebody somewhere doing you a favor. I don't care what school you went to. There was a fraternity, a sorority, or somebody. Amen. That you knew, that knew somebody, that knew somebody, that knew somebody, that knew somebody, that knew you. Come on. So no matter how smart you are, you had to have somebody somewhere in your life uh, did you a favor. Matter of fact, they may even hire you because they didn't know why, huh? but they did you a favor. So it doesn't matter where you come from. Huh? doesn't matter what part of the city. Huh? don't matter if you come from poor stock or rich stock. Huh? Somewhere in your life, huh? somebody did you a favor. Huh? But I'm going to do you even more, even something greater. Huh? There's a person by the name of Jesus, huh? and he wants to do you a favor. Huh? He wants to walk with you huh? and open doors that used to be closed to you. Huh? My God is able to do exceedingly abundantly that you ask a thing because of the blessing of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nobody can make it without some favor somewhere. You got to have some favor somewhere. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank God for favor. Thank God for the blessing that brings favor. That brings favor. Things that were closed to you. 
now begin to open to you. Jesus said, I stand at the door. Come on, somebody. When he begins to knock on the heart of your life, he opened doors that were closed before because of the blessing of Abraham on your life. I'm not ashamed of the gospel. It is the power of God and salvation. It brings me into connection with the blessing of God. Hallelujah. I'm trying to quit and get y'all out of here. Hallelujah. Oh, God, the blessing. Oh, God, the blessing. I think we all need the blessing. Doesn't matter where you come from. Don't matter your color, your background, your culture. You need the blessing of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Blessing on your mind. The blessing of God to empower your emotions. Thank you, Lord. The blessing of Gerasim. The blessing of Abraham. An empowerment to prosper. This is for the believer. We are covenant people. Ratified by the blood. Confirmed by the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. See, when a blessing begins to operate in your life, I'm trying to quit. I'm sorry. When it operates in your life, it, don't, it doesn't just visit your generation. It visits the second generation. The Bible says in Deuteronomy, I will visit you to a thousand generations. I believe you can so walk in the blessing that your great-grandchildren that have not even been born are already prepared to be blessed. They're already prepared to start off in a better place than you did because of the blessing that's working in your life now. Hallelujah. You're preparing generations to come. The favor of your life is establishing your great-grandchildren. Oh, God, the blessing of Abraham transcends time, space, and matter. Transcends race, culture, and environment. Thank God for the blessing. The blessing of Abraham. Y'all got me fired up today. Woo! See, it might not mean nothing, but when you come from the bottom, you understand the blessing. When every door is closed, but God gives you favor, no matter how talented you are, you realize if it had not been for the Lord, where would I be? Anybody know what I'm talking about? <laughs> 